you have to remember that the master was always talking to a particular audience in particular time and particular circumstances. So please keep in mind that when I tell you what the master said to me about a particular topic, uh, this is not a universal statement with universal validity regardless on, of who's there and where it is and so on and so forth. You know. All these statements you know, all have to do with uh, particular people, particular situations, okay? I always tell people it's the same as when you read the Agamas or when you read the stories of people who, who were with the Buddha and how he taught, it's the same thing as the Shurfu. You can look, look at it, it's almost parallel. You see how he taught us and how the Buddha taught his disciples. It was like, wow, it's the same Jingjie, same way. Not the same exact things. He used different expedient devices in this day and age. But it's the same principle. He, he teaches it t all his disciples just like the Buddha did. The Buddha taught all his disciples according to conditions. Each one. Like they had one really stupid one who they wouldn't even, the monks wouldn't even let him leave home. And, uh, and then he, he felt so bad and the Buddha said, well, I can't remember anything. Uh, I'm sorry, Master, I can't, I, I just haven't the ability to remember things and I don't know how to recite and this and that. And the Buddha said, well, can you sweep with a broom? And he says, yeah, I can do that. He says, okay, when you sweep with the broom, just recite, I can sweep and sweep clean, sweep clean my, my mind. Every time I sweep with the broom, I'm sweeping the dust off my mind. He says, that's all you got to do. So each disciple, Shifu did the same kind of thing. It's the same as the Buddha. So if you want to know how the Shifu taught us, that's how he taught us. He just, you could read the Agama stories, the stories of uh, his disciples, all the different things that happened to him with their teacher. Because the Buddha lived for many years, you know, f uh, for several decades, and they were with him all the time. It was the same kind of thing. He'd teach you according to conditions, of your conditions, not somebody else's conditions. But he'd always, it's funny to, like when Shifu would give a lecture, uh, somebody who has wisdom like that gives a lecture in the Buddha hall, then he'll bring up, some, even during the lecture, Shifu will bring, oh, there was this person I know who did this and that, but then they did it wrong, and da 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 da. He'd bring up th things like that sometimes. You can even hear it on the tapes sometimes. Okay. And uh, everybody in the Buddha hall said, oh, Shifu was talking about me. But we talked to everybody after the, after the lecture. They said, no, it's me. No, it's me. No, it's me. <laughs> Sure, was multitasking. <laughs>因为我和你一样的你打王响我这个电波也就动了啊就好像那个雷达似的那每一个人的脑和脑都有雷达你要喝一看这个雷达你打什么王响啊都现出来了又打了王响的时候这位法师大家是读心理学的吧怎么我打王响他就知道呢不错我就是读心理学的你们谁要有心理学的毛病就来看这个到这来就会没有了 me, yeah, we all do the same thing Oh, she was talking about me Really? <laughs>